Recently, I watched the TV drama called "A Dream of Splendor." Really great drama. If you didn't watch it yet, I highly recommend to watch this TV drama. To help you understand this TV drama better, I will make series of videos to explain the background and the history about this drama. At very beginning, the producers tell us that this story happens in the Northern Song Dynasty. The Northern Song Dynasty existed from 960. To eleven twenty seven, and had nine emperors. So, is it possible that we can know this story happens in which emperor's time? The answer is yes. I'm pretty sure that this story happened in the emperor Zhengzhong's time, and it happened after ten nineteen. Three years before Zhen Zhong passed away. Why I know it? First, the character in the drama mentioned a sentence, "Tai Bai Zhou Xian, Nu Zhu Chang," which means the power of the empress or the empress daughter was too much, and threatened the power of the emperor. From the later plot. We know here, the female was the empress. In Northern Song Dynasty, there were three empresses: the Empress Liu, the Empress Gao, and the Empress Xiang. Had enough powers to influence the political decisions, but only the Empress Liu's power was big enough. To threaten her husband's power, and she had the chance of becoming the second female emperor in ancient China. Besides, in episode eleven, Ouyang Xu mentioned the emperor once participated Feng Shan. In Song Dynasty, only Zhen Zhong once participated. The Feng Shan in Tai Mountain. Actually, Zhen Zhong was the last emperor in ancient China who participated the Feng Shan. After we make sure the story happens in Emperor Zhen Zhong's time, how we know it happens after ten nineteen? Zhen Zhong worked as the emperor. From nine ninety seven to ten twenty two, ten nineteen was the third year of Tianxi. According to the history records, in the third year of Tianxi, Venus appeared in the day. Why Venus appearing in the day represents the female ruler, will control the court. I will tell you in next video.